RSS feed is a really strong tool to retrieve information on a subject when it's well used. In this video, we will see how to create and manipulate RSS feed on Make and what you can do with this information. The first thing to understand is how to retrieve an RSS feed from websites. The first case is for WordPress websites. You just have to type the URL of the website and add a slash feed. For social media, you have multiple RSS readers depending on the social media you want to, to retrieve the RSS feed from. If it's YouTube, you, you can type RSS reader for YouTube and copy paste the link of the channel on it. For other websites, you will likely find an RSS icon or uh, a link. And if you don't find it, you can go on the source code, uh, press Ctrl F and uh, search for RSS. You will most likely find an RSS feed link. The second option is to create an RSS feed. You can go on this website, rss.app. You have a lot of choice in multiple categories and a lot of integration on each categories. And you can create your own uh, personalized RSS feed. For It could be for your channels or for someone else's channels. For example, here, uh, you can go uh, for a LinkedIn RSS feed and create one for a specific user or for multiple users. The third option you have is to create an RSS feed that is fed with multiple other RSS feeds. For this, you can use uh, something like Feedly. Uh, so it's a news aggregator application. Here, uh, you can create uh, a feed. For example, I've created one named AI. I've just taken uh, three of the most popular websites on AI. And I created an RSS feed from these three RSS feeds of these websites. You can do this with as much as websites and RSS feed you want and create a single RSS feed that will retrieve all of this information in a single RSS feed. But the only downside of this is that you will need to have a paid plan so you can access the API of these websites and integrate it into Make. And now let's go on Make to see what is the input and the output of the RSS feed module. So I will take this. So here, as you can see, you have only two inputs. The first one is the URL of the RSS feed. So this is uh, either a pre-made RSS feed that you retrieve directly with these methods or one you have created or multiple RSS feed that are concatenate into only one on Feedly, for example. So let's take uh, this blog as an example. Uh, so I will scroll down. Yes, here, as you can see, we have for AI news an RSS feed here. So I will click on it, copy this, paste it here. Let's say we want 10 uh, maximum number of return items. So this is the number of blog posts it will return. We can click on OK and choose where to start. Um, you can make it from now and plan this uh, every day, every uh, week as, as you want, or from a specific date or everything posted. So because I will trigger the automation just now, I will just uh, select this one, all RSS feed. So normally it should scrap the 10 last posts of uh, this block. As you can see, we should have, so bundle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, we have 10 uh, article. Let's go into uh, this one. Will AI ever be smarter than human? You have the description, summary, URL, images, source. So you have everything you need to manipulate this article and do whatever you want with it. But let's see what we can do with this information. So this is the Make Marketplace. Uh, here you can find some workflow that are pre-made and that you can directly try, as you can see here. So this is for uh, RSS integrations. As you can see, you have a lot of integrations and automations, but I've noted the most uh, recurring ones and popular ones. So you can, for example, uh, retrieve article and read it and create a blog post on your own website based on it. Um, you can also uh, post on social media from blog post. For example, here you can see post new RSS item to LinkedIn. 
Uh, here you have summarized RSS feed item with hugging face and store your result on a Google Sheet that you will use later on your social media. You can do the same on X and every social media you, you want. You can also use this information to create your newsletter. Basically, you can gather a lot of information that your audience is uh, interested in and summarize it and make it in your own way and post it into your newsletter. You can also, for example, gather a lot of information from multiple blogs and summarize it into, I don't know, 2000 words and send it weekly to your, to your email. So you can create a knowledge base every week on uh, your niche, on a subject you want to learn more. You can also uh, just store inf information on some database. It could be Excel or a table. Uh, I think we have also monday.com, yeah. So you can also create knowledge base on really specific subjects that you can use later for a video, for a blog post, for anything else. I feel like blog posts are really an underrated way to find information because we read less and less. In my opinion, the most efficient way to use it is to gather information from different sources to have a deeper understanding on your niche and your subject and being able to create fresh content from it. If you enjoyed this video, I've made another one on how to create a social media system based on RSS feed. Thank you for watching.